Hey, you're watching Driver88. Today, I wanted to do a little bit of light analysis on two cars that I previously owned and loved very much. That is the 718 GT4 PDK versus the GT4 RS. I'm gonna look at these two uh, across the used market at the moment, and I've been enthused to do so because the Cayman is getting ever closer to the end of its production. I saw recently an article in Motor One that said that every uh, Cayman and Boxster outside of the RS models is potentially finishing production in July of this year as we get ever closer to uh, EVs uh, on the uh, Cayman and Boxster lines. I've had a look at the used market purely in Australia and all the numbers against sticker figures, etc. Um, and all of this stuff is going to be in Australian figures. So if you're in um, UK, Asia, US, etc., please let me know how these two are comparing each other, but I'm giving you just an Australian perspective. Uh, we are just 27 million people here, but we do get quite a lot of GT allocations for our size. When I look back, the 718 GT4 PDK is proving to be quite a good investment versus the 4RS, at least in my market. So we're gonna start with comparing the production figures. Now, Porsche has let us know that 7,000 GT4 RSs are due to be made over its lifespan, and I'm inclined to sort of believe them. They may have made more, but Compared to some other brands, which fudge figures a lot, as we all know, um, I don't think that Porsche is going to be making too much more or a huge amount more than that 7,000 figure. The 718 GT4 PDK, however, is a little bit harder to pin down. So the reason why I think that this is performing so well, as you'll see from these figures in a moment, is because ever since its introduction, the 718 GT4 was firstly delayed a year after the initial manual release in 2019 and then in 2021 to 23 it was plagued with all sorts of issues regarding getting parts, uh, the war in Ukraine was causing issues, it had an engine recall which required new rods um, and just all sorts of things like carbon parts, uh, brakes, all sorts of things plagued the production of the 718 GT4 and then seemingly just as it became uh, getting under full steam of production. Production ended like uh, almost a year ago now, something like six to nine months ago. So that is a production figure that I'm happy if you can let me know what it is, but I have a feeling it's gonna be considerably less than 7,000 in this PDK format. Here's where things get a little bit interesting. So I'm looking on car sales, which is the largest uh, car website uh, used in Australia. And the figures are 15 GT4 RSs currently for sale against 718 PDKs, just eight. So there's 60% more GT4 RSs currently for sale in my market than GT4 PDKs. And that has also had effect on a price. So let's compare the sticker price first. There's a big difference in sticker price, of course. Uh, the GT4 is 250,000 Australian and the GT4 RS starts at 375. So there's a huge gap of 40% difference in uh, uh, sticker price. Um, but we're seeing the performance on the used market to be quite interesting. So what I've done is add up the average uh, price of all the cars currently for sale and add it on the on-road taxes, not just the asking prices, to give us a bit of an idea as to how the two are comparing as a percentage investment. So the current average asking price for the GT4 PDK at the moment is $284,000 and the 4RS is $430,000. So that difference in sticker price has now completely matched itself uh, to be a difference of 40.9%. Essentially buying either car, even though there's all this hype, all this massive hype for the GT4 RS and so hard to get, there's almost 60% the more of them for sale and it's actually performed on the used market at the same uh, basically percentage increase as the GT4 currently in my market. And that I think is due to a bit of scarcity also the fact that there's, I guess, not as many sports cars, believe it or not, now around this price range before you get a huge gap to supercar prices. So the last bit of data that I have also is the increase in price against sticker price to asking. So the GT4 PDK uh, has increased by 12.8% uh, on the market against its original sticker price, whereas the GT4 RS has increased 13.78% on the asking market uh, against its sticker price. So the GT4 RS has mildly just beaten the GT4 in terms of the asking price, but that does not tell the whole story. And the reason why that is, is that the 718 GT4 doesn't really need many options at all. 
They only needed sort of bucket seats. There's not really much else you need to pick to have everything you want. Whereas with the GT4 RS, most people pick big options like the Vysak pack and magnesium wheels, and this drastically increases the overall price on top of sticker. So you could say that against that, the GT4 has really beaten the GT4 RS in PDK form due to its scarcity um, and due to the fact that it had quite a limited, I guess, affected run of its time. Um, and you know, this has also really got to do with my market here in Australia. I could only find, say, 12 GT4 RSs currently for sale on DuPont Registry, where we've got 15 in Australia. So just imagine this, we've got 27 million people here in Australia and there's 15 GT4 RSs for sale. Imagine if you had 150 GT4 RSs for sale in the US uh, at this current time for sale. That would definitely tank the market, you would think. Uh, it seems that the market's much stronger in the US than the UK and, the, and Australia at the moment, probably due to the fact that the US, the S&P 500 is at a record high, much of crypto is at a record high, and here in Australia, our home prices are still uh, reaching record highs, even though we're having this big effect on uh, disposable income and high interest rates. So there are just a few things I want to share with you. Basically, the 718 GT4 PDK has proven to be a real sleeper and has performed incredibly well in the used market. I personally really like this um, shark blue version. I think it looks really, really good against black calipers. And the GT4 RS, there's just no cool stuff on the market anymore. I don't think there's, there's so many boring specs that are on the used market with the GT4 RS. They're all silver or black or white. Um, there's no PTS that I can find for sale in Australia in either one, um, but there are some others, of course, in the US. So that's it. Let me know what you think about the two. Do you own either car? How are you liking it? Are you in the market for a GT4? Are you in the market for a 4 RS? What are you seeing? What are you doing? Let me know. This is Driver88, and thank you for watching.